Uh, hi everybody, my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Let's go to Photoshop. First thing we are going to do is um, bring our document as usual. Uh, let's call it Happy Birthday. Width is 1000 pixels, height is 1000 pixels, resolution let's set it to 72 and then the color mode is RGB 8 bit that's so you hit OK. Let's start with the background. Okay, so the background, what we are going to do is we are going to start with a color fill or a solid color and just type in this number 7C2A08. This is the color I want to use. Great. Great. Then let's put it in a folder or let's group it. Let's call it um, BG. BG stands for background. And we are not done with the background. We will still come back to it again. But the next thing we are going to do is go to our image and then hold it. I'm going to leave everything in the description for you to use. So you ain't gotta worry, man. You ain't gotta worry. <laughs> I think I want to turn it this way. Put it here. I think this is cool. Hold Control and click on the image. Then go to Select. Go to Refine Edge. And then. Let's see what we can do. I want the edge to be very sharp. So click here, click on new layer with layer mask and then OK. Now this is great. This is great. Also, we want to give it black and white. Um, let's go to black and white. There is it. Then click over here. To click it to the image. Um, click on the brush to let's pick this one now if you can't see the shape of your brush make sure your caps lock is off then increase the size all right also you want to make sure your hair is black click this side and then let's start cleaning make sure everything here, here and here is hundred percent okay this is nice just want to work on the hair area also decrease the size a little bit because we don't want it to don't want the flesh to be affected just the hair just the hair just the hair just the hair increase the size and work on those areas as well <laughs> all right okay Bit. So now that we are done with the hair, we want to decrease the size of the brush and then focus on the lips. Increase it a little bit. Focus on the lips. Two as well. Alright, decrease the size. Important. All right. Now, um, it's not perfect, but it's kind of cool. Now I can see some little debris over here. Pick your brush. Pick this type. Just clean it. Just clean it. Okay. The next thing we are also going to do is make sure we give it a little texture. Um, and uh, for that, I'm going to use this. Again, it's going to be in the description for you to use. Alright, this is how it's going to look like. Click on create clipping mask. Uh, then you pick multiply. Oh yes, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. 
let's reduce the opacity to around 25 or maybe 30. I think 24 is good, right? Yeah, 24 is good. And then we give you some curves. The curve, I just want to move just this one to here. Give it a clipping mask. Nice, nice, nice. Then it's going to be another curve. This time, leave it like this. Just pull it here. Make sure this one goes a little bit. Yeah. All right. I don't know about you, but this looks good to me. Mm-hmm. 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 This looks good to me. So, we'll click here. Hold Shift. Go up. And click here and then let's name it image because it contains all the image all right this contains the background all right so the next folder is going to be about the text that you're going to place over here and so let's pick I think I'll, I'll use this happy birthday um, pick the magic wand click on the white area and then click on this and then double click here and then click on invert then double click this side and then pick color overlay change the color to white then click ok if I went too fast please repeat the video and you'll get what I did it's not too difficult I'm sure of it let's move the image here a little bit a little bit mm -hmm. then the happy birthday Birthday, birthday. I can see some white around it. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. Okay. Convert it to smart object. All right. So let's see. I don't know about you, but I think this is okay for me. Oh, let's reduce it a little bit. Let's give it. Let's see. All right. Force in the middle. All right. Very important. Okay. Then let's give it the name Nana Adroa. <laughs> it's Nana Adroa. In my language, D W D W is always J, pronounced as J. So Ad. Chua, no, this is not English class. <laughs> this is not English class. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to leave you alone. This is not English class, okay? Let's reduce the size. Let's reduce the size. And that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's kind of cool, right? Very cool. Very cool. And I'll do it. And I'll do it. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is take notice, okay? Nanadra was, um, uh, Franklin, okay, and then um, I just gave it italics and pretty much that's all and then the color was white So um, I'm going to leave everything in the description for you to download The next thing you are going to do is you're going to give it uh, a message Because if you have uh, a birthday for you, you might as well wish the person have a birthday message, right? Makes total sense So let's have it You just pick it and then Click and drag, and then you start typing in it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, it's too big. It's too big. Let's reduce the size to around thirty-three. Oh, we'll increase it if it's too small. F. Okay, let's reduce this to around um, 35 35 yeah 35 will do paragraph let's make sure it's centered and then double click the T then pull this so pull this down okay so, so there's it 
a friend like you is more precious than a diamond. Then, I want to tell that you are not only strong and wise, but kind and thoughtful as well. Your birthday is perfect opportunity. Is the perfect, it's the perfect opportunity to show you how much I care and how grateful I am to have you in my life. In my life. Full stop. So this is it. This is it. Um, and then we'll bring our border. For the border, I'll pick this. Okay. We drop it here. As the text should be in the middle. In the middle. Okay. And then the text should be in the middle. Then an outro should be in the middle. Then the happy birthday should be in the middle. Nice, nice, nice. Now we can resize this. Can resize this. Then double click here, then go to color overlay, pick here, pick white. Then OK. Then double uh, control J to duplicate it. Um, flip vertical. Hold shift, hit, and then pull down. Make sure you get it right. OK. Uh, um, we're going to put this one into a folder and we are going to call it. Um, what should we call it? Let's call it text, right? Because it contains the text. Let's push it to the right a little bit. That way we can also push the image here a little bit. Then we'll go to the background and then we create more objects because we want to hold shift and then just then make sure the stroke is off, make sure the value is white. Um, the fill is white. We don't want the background to be um, very dull. No. Uh, we want the background to be Ctrl J. Then reduce the size, reduce the opacity. Okay. Push it somewhere there. And this this is just to make it stand out a little bit. Uh, I cannot. Alright, so this is it. Um, last but not the least, uh, let's give it some rectangle here. Right, rectangle here. Pull it up a little bit. Um, change to white. The fill of. Then, right, um, sixteenth, right, sixteen. Inside, change the text to black. Make this one white. Okay. Okay. Let's name this one month. Uh, I think I should push this one up. 
Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you design this type of birthday flyer. Please give me a like, uh, comment on the comment sections, tell me what you want me to do and then if any suggestions or just leave any comment there for me to review. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel so that any time I release new videos you'll be prompted. I love you all. Peace out.